Novi RGB IC LED strip lights are great for providing accent lighting for your room or spicing up that bookcase. But some real estate that we haven't taken advantage of is the floor. Today, that changes. We're taking a look at the Govi RGB IC LED Lyra floor lamp. This promises to be unique and futuristic accent lighting for more than just your dorm room. This can go in your den, living room, bedroom, bathroom. Put it somewhere, it'll look cool. Is it worth the price tag? Stick around for this full Govi Lyra floor lamp review. Unfortunately, the Govi Lyra floor lamp is a little too big for my table, so we'll have to rely on this box and B-roll taken by yours truly. Inside the box, you get a plethora of things like the directions, the power supply, the remote, the remote holder, two sets of screws, a screwdriver, the mounting brackets, as well as the metal pieces that you have to screw together, the light strip, the base, and last but not least, the power supply. Maybe I mentioned that already? Like things from Ikea, there is some assembly required. I did purchase this off of Amazon, link in the description below. It takes about 15 minutes to assemble. You'll start off by putting together the three metal pieces with three brackets and a fair amount of screws with this tiny screwdriver, which I absolutely love is magnetic, so you don't drop any of your screws. After you finish that, you'll take the metal pieces and you will put them on top of the base and screw that in and then comes the fun part where you put the LED light strip inside the metal hot dog bun? I don't know why I thought that was like a hot dog bun. But anyways, you get the point. You do have to hook up the LED strip to the plug-in in the base. Make sure you line up the color of the wires so you're plugging it in the right way. And then you have to scrunch in the LED strip into the tube hot dog piece. We're gonna keep going with that analogy. It does take a fair amount of force and a little bit of finagling to get the LED strip into the metal piece. But after about five minutes of fooling around with that, you'll be finished. At that point, most of the assembly is done. All you have to do is plug in the power supply to the connector that hangs off the base that also has the microphone attached. Plug it in, pull the remote out of the packaging, take out the battery thing and fire it up and you got yourself a new piece of lighting. Anyways, after it's assembled comes the fun part where you can actually fire it up and utilize the remote to turn it on. You can use the remote to turn it on and off, adjust brightness as well as the warmth of the light and cycle it through different modes. One thing that I really enjoy about the remote is how it's stored. If you decided to put the remote mount on the light, you simply clip it on, and once it's on, you can slide the remote on the back and it just sticks there. It's a magnet, it's science, it's cool. While the remote provides an easy way to control this light, you don't get full functionality unless you utilize the Govi Home app. The Govi Lyra floor amp will connect up to your smart device via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. You simply fire up the Govi Home app. Once you've launched the app, you'll click the plus button in the right hand corner and then you'll have to locate the Lyra floor lamp which is under indoor lighting. You'll scroll down and it is on the right side. Once you select it, it will search for the light via Bluetooth, have you enter in your Wi-Fi password and then a couple of minutes later, you'll be connected. Once you've got your light connected, you have access to a ton of controls. Right on this homepage, you can turn things on and off but if you go into the device, it will give you tons of control. First off, we can adjust just the brightness, which is not the most fun, but things get fun when you scroll down a little bit and you have access to different music modes. One thing that I really like is that it lets you choose if you use the microphone on the actual lamp or the microphone in your device. Whichever one you choose, you can pick from a number of different effects. My personal favorite is bounce because it makes a little ball bounce and it's very entertaining and quite enjoyable in my opinion. Moving on then to the color section, you can see that the light is divided up into different sections and you can customize it based on those sections by selecting the sections and then selecting a color. You can opt for it to be gradient or actual stiff barriers. Distinct barriers is maybe the better term. In addition to being able to select 16 million colors, you can also adjust the warmth of the light from 2200K all the way up up to 6500K so you get some nice and cool lighting. 
the higher the number, the colder it is. Scrolling back up, we then slide on over to the scenes, which again, the bouncing ball is obviously a favorite. These ones are unique to the lamp, the bouncing ball, greedy snake, stacking, strike, crossing. We do have on the RGB IC LED light strips from Gobi, but you'll find that some of these are unique to the lamp, which I think is really cool. There are a ton of different categories, so you'll definitely find something that fits whatever mood you are in. Don't be shy, make sure to scroll through all of these and try them out to see what fits for you. It's not Christmas time, but this would make a great Christmas present. Lastly, there is the DIY section, which in my mind is very similar to the color, so I'm not even gonna go there. If you're creative, go there, figure it out, you do your thing. It's not for me. One thing that I've liked on all the RGB IC LED strip lights that I own from Govi and will continue to like is the timer function, which allows me to set it to light up and help me wake up in the morning and settle down at night. That is all selectable from this menu. If you go to the gear in the upper right, it'll allow you to change the device name as well as select device safety, which will prevent others from pairing to this device. This is great if you're in a college setting and have a ton of randos on your network. Additionally, you can can select to pair this with your Amazon Alexa as well as your Google Assistant. As expected from Govi, the app offers a ton of control. One thing that was very much unexpected for me was how bright this thing is. While it is not bright enough to light a room solo, it does produce 1500 lumens of light. And frankly, I think it's more than that, but I don't have a light tester to verify. It's bright, it'll be a great accent light and definitely provide that added oomph to your room decor or for setting the mood for that special someone. Time to turn off the light and talk turkey. Overall, I've been pretty impressed with the Gobi Lyra floor lamp. While it does take a bit to assemble, I really like the actual end product. The construction seems durable and like it will last. The only part of the construction that I'm not a fan of is the actual base. I would try and cover that up with some other parts of my decor and really make sure that the lighting from the you know, about six inches above the ground to 57 inches tall is the main point of focus. This would be a great accent light for your living room, your bedroom, your den, and would pair well with other LED lighting. I don't think this is a standalone piece, but if you have LED strip lights on your wall or maybe even the backlighting on your TV, this would be a great thing to put in the opposite corner of the room and would do its fair share of producing light. Yes, 1500 lumens, lots of colors. All of those things can be controlled from the Gobi home app just like all of Gobi's products and again they killed it there the app is great the features are great I'm still not sure why they ask for my location when I'm hooking up my Wi-Fi but that's a topic for another day the only real downside that I see to this light this lamp this Gobi Lyra floor lamp is the actual cost it is much more expensive than any of the other Gobi products that we'd reviewed previously so this may not be for everyone but if you have some extra cash laying around this may be a good accent piece for your new home and your new space or just the space that you currently own that you want to spice up with some more RGBIC LED lighting. Personally, I'm not sure if I'd go out and spend the money unless it was to make a video for our loving viewers. Loving viewers that should subscribe. Yes, less than 1% of you are subscribed, so if you want to support the channel, found this video helpful, go and click that subscribe button. If you want to give us a virtual high five, just like this, go down and smash that like button. If there's any questions that we didn't answer in this video or that you just have in general about any aspect of life or technology or things that you want us to review in the future, please comment that down below. That's all I have for today, folks. If you want to purchase it, we'll have it linked in the description. But again, a little pricey, so that's up to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bird out.